Adventures in Second Life, episode 14. On a roll, this would be the uh, fourth in a series we've done in one evening, I'm trying to keep these at um, five minutes as, if possible. And that reminds me, I need to reset my clock. There we go. I've just set my five minute clock, so we always get a few minutes in more than five, but close enough. We've been pretty good about this. Um, we are methodically running through um, the the UI in Second Life. And as a reminder, I have my Wyatt Earp um, cool outfit on, which most of it I didn't have much to do with, but a couple bits I did. At least one important thing, which we'll get to at some other time. So, to continue our exploration here, we were under edit, and I guess I might as well, um, might be good just to do a review here quickly of the menus. We have gone through file in, the, in previous episodes, and the edit menu. And in addition to that, there are these other menu items, which really, there's a lot of depth to this, to Second Life. And I don't know, this may be too ambitious to go through so much of it, but we're, we're going to continue <laughs> this, at least with the UI. So where we left off was here, we wanted to go into System. Now under System, we can see many things which uh, really are almost on the geeky level. So I mean just again you can pause the screen look at some of these things. Command line this is stuff that I almost never use. Uh, security and privacy there's a couple of things that are interesting here. Again pause take a look. Most of it I mean, some of it, you'll, it, it's very intuitive. You'll know what it is. Other parts, not so sure, just like it is, even if you're an old timer. Building, this has to do with actually developing, building things in Second Life. Again, I, I, many of these things, the system bit is pretty de deep stuff. And uh, this, these things may be only available in the Singularity Viewer, which is what we're using now. And the last uh, in, the, in the preferences here is Vanity. And again, hit you can hit pause, take a look at some of these things. Um, these are you know, toggle on and off. You know, it's uh, yeah, vanity. Vanity is uh, really uh, one of the, one of parts of the human condition, we could say. Uh, tags and colors. Um, this is, you know, again, more customization you can do. Body dynamics. I have no idea what that is. So, this is pretty cool. We've we've actually, in our, you know, the previous, I think, one or two episodes in this, we've gone through all of these tabs, and we've gone through the essential stuff. I think, given enough attention to those, and we've also seen some things that are probably not so essential. Um, nice thing about the interface here is uh, I always like the feature where you, when you're setting up things you can hit the apply button and everything stays open. And when you're finally finished with everything then you click OK. So great. That I feel we've really made a big accomplishment with uh, covering um, the UI or the uh, preferences. Not the UI but the preferences in the UI, which is Control P, you know, Control P, you can get right to that, bang, right? There you go. Um, well, after that, uh, we're going to go to View. Now, we might, we'll just continue. View Mouse Look. What does that do? Well, Mouse Look puts you into kind of a game mode. So when you click that M and then Escape to get out. Um, now I'll be looking through my eyes of my avatar. So as I move my mouse around, um, I'm looking through my eyes, and I can walk around. Like I can walk. I'm going to walk into uh, this room here, little Dalod shack. 
and I'll be now I'm going to look out the door here I'm going to hit escape and you can see now I'm inside so that's um, so mouse look is all about it's pretty cool right well we'll hit mouse look again and uh, some other stuff but that's uh, episode 14 we finished the preferences now we're going to go continue through the UI